working? Hello. Uh, I see Laura Montiero is already in the chat. Life signs. <laughs> yeah, okay. So uh, I got to wait for the actual stream to catch up so I can turn down the volume on my end so you don't get that funky echo. Come on, stream. Okay, well, first of all, I'm going to uh, run the game. So you guys can tell me if you hear... Just a second. Sorry. Technology. Alright, so here's the okay, game. Well, first of all, I'm going to... Uh, now I'm going to turn down the volume here. Okay, now the volume here is down, so there's going to be no echo. So, as usual, I'm going to wait for the confirmation that you can hear me. And the game's music. <clears throat> so... How y'all doing? Ooh, and Hatnix is hosting me. Awesome. Okay. All right. I'm just waiting for. Well, can you hear me as well as the game? Volume seems okay. Okay. Awesome. So we're ready to start. Let's just jump in, huh? All good. So we got Sonata Fanatica, who I think I finally I met you at uh, at uh, Adventure X for the first time, um, uh, and Corrupt Begin Corrupt Begins. I like your name. All right, cool. Rosa and Joey look weird in this style. Yeah, a lot of people commented that Rosa doesn't quite look like herself in this one, uh, or at least in the poster art. Which um, sorry, wow, <coughs> wow. A lot of the art in this game is a little weird compared to the... Not weird, exactly. Uh, I know the art budget took a bit of a downgrade um, because I was working from a budget this time around and I was determined to keep the budget at... at, at not low, but I, it was low. But I was determined not to um, uh, go above what I originally wanted to pay for it. Uh, which is funny because Gemini Roo came out. While I was working on this game, um, we got Gemini Roo fell in our lap. And that game did really, really well. Um, Joey looks very solid for a ghost. You can see Rose's arm uh, behind behind him. Yeah, he's right there. Um, but anyway, yeah, uh, even though Gemini Roo came out and was a big success, uh, I still didn't like increase the art budget for Blackwell Deception, even though I could have. Um, uh, just because I was determined to keep it under what I originally wanted. Uh, the character portraits. The character portraits did change. Originally, they were kind of this cartoony style, which uh, I wasn't really fond of in in retrospect. And then um, I, one one year, I just decided I was tired of it, and I was I just I redid all the portraits, um, and so those are the ones in the game now. Okay, so let's let's start, shall we? Uh, how many? Let's see how many people are in the in the in the chat right now. 71! Holy crap, that's a record. Sweet. Okay, hello, crazy 71 people who want to watch this. Uh, save all the money. Wouldn't want you to go under. Neither would I. Thank you. Yeah. All right, let's start. Enough, enough of this talking nonsense. Okay, here we go. Yeah, this is one of my most understated intros. <laughs> It's like, yeah, here's here's a letter you're reading. Uh, you could tell we were working for a budget this time around. And not these buttons. I remember copying it, copying the instructions verbatim off of uh, some website on how to do cool buttons in Photoshop. And uh, yeah, that's where I got this from. Hey, Sir Circonet. I'm just guessing that's your name. Um, yeah, you're here live today. So let's do this. Hello? Anybody here? We're coming aboard. Coming aboard? What would you say? Not that. <laughs> I do think Rosa might look a little young in her portraits here. Um, which, uh, eh, whatever. You know, how the one this game came out, I think, in uh, 2011. Yeah, 2011. Um, uh, so, too late to do anything about it now. Uh, uh, let's, let's walk around. Let's see here. You actually look like Rosa, <laughs> the uh, the portrait Rosa, Just or the uh, or the poster Rosa. <laughs> you actually can see everything, um, even though like Rosa won't look it's at it. It's too dark to make anything out. Right, let's flip the lights on. I like this bit on the boat too. Anybody here? Um, 
Amar, Amar, I keep mispronouncing her name. Anything? Have you been at every stream? Amar, Amayuro, Amayuro Akago. What the heck was that? I like this boat too. It's a very connected place, which is why I really like it. We're moving. Yeah, I know. There's nobody on board but us. Filmic darkness. Yeah, yeah. I noticed that too. So we've definitely got. She a really needs those glasses. Yeah, we do. I remember, like, uh, someone on Twitter, I don't know, was going through these games and was complaining at, about the tutorial in this game. And personally, I, I think it's very understated. Um, I don't know. I don't think it's in your face. It's just understated. Oh, God. You know what? I think I actually took the city background from, like, an old picture of New York and just sort of scrunched it down to fit the resolution. And I never ended up changing it. I don't remember. Uh, I think it's... Which is, which is weird, because this, this is, like the beginning of the game and this should theoretically be a very epic looking shot but it's not <laughs> it's it's really not it's really cheap looking um but you know whatever like i said yeah and these, these inventory items i'm not a huge fan of either um i got these business cards made up a few months ago they glow in the dark it's so cool you just need a joey now you could just pretend there is one they just can't see him obviously it's a really long bridge. They're going in circles. <laughs> Quiet. Uh, what am I doing now? Oh yeah, I gotta send Joey to the. Oh well, let's have him talk got to each other. What's going on? I've always wanted to go on a harbor cruise, but never quite like this. Yeah, the, the graphics are fine. Much. You know, and um, uh, it it was it helped, uh, especially after coming off of Blackwell Convergence, which um, those graphics were really really expensive. Um, but since I spent so much money, I was always thinking of like, God, I got to get this game out the door um, so I can earn money from and get earn back the money that I spent. And <clears throat> I think that harmed the game because, as I mentioned in the last stream uh, with Blackwell Convergence, um, there's a lot of rough areas in that game that I never addressed uh, simply because I was really trying to get that game out the door. But with this one, I, I took my time. Uh, I really took my time with this one because I wasn't worried so much about, oh my god, I, I'm spending so much money, I deliberately spent less. Uh, it also didn't hurt that, uh, that Gemma Naru came out in the interim and, and, was a, and was a big hit, and so I could afford to take my time. My only qualm is that Joey isn't as handsome. Ah, well. He's got other qualities, doesn't he? A haunted boat. Yep. A haunted boat. Seems so. <laughs> First time I've managed to and actually catch you streaming this live. Oh my game. god, it's live. Makimu. Well, welcome, Makimu. You played all six games in a row. Wow, it's amazing because it's considering there's only five. All right, let's yeah. let's get let's get a move on here. It's interesting how like I I actually pay more attention to things like art and visual design and consistency now. And Deception was the last game where I just didn't bother. <laughs> but I really think about it now. But back at, uh, in the dark ages of, of 2011, a whole six years ago, I just didn't even think about it. I'm like, it's got the good story, they'll like the story, and nothing else matters. And, and, and true enough, like, yeah, the, the story counts for a lot, but visual design and, and you know, aesthetics do matter <laughs> to a degree. So uh, I, I, I'm kind of self-critical about a lot of stuff here. Ooh, the cursor, the cursor animates. I don't think I did that with Epiphany. I don't think I did. That's interesting. Okay, I, I, I did that, and then I completely forgot about it. Oops. I never did it again. I like Deception 2, Makamu. I think it actually, like I said, I took more time with it uh, since I wasn't worried right, about the budget. There? I spent Somebody's a lot more time with it, getting it tested me. and retested, getting feedback and incorporating changes. Yeah, and I knew it. It's the first time I think I ever really clicked with not just Blackwell, but like what made a good game and what made it satisfying and what resonated and how to like, I don't know. A lot of things just really clicked when I made this game and I always think back to what worked in Deception when trying to do other games. Like, people really, really liked this character and this situation and this puzzle and this series of events. And um, uh, when I think about why and how, uh, I often refer back to this game. Um, okay, I'm seeing some questions here on the stream. Uh, 
the story is released in this one. Thank you. This featured Ben's art. Uh, it featured Ben's sprite art. All the sprites are Ben. Um, he had a different style back then. It was more like uh, simple and cartoony. And he, had, he always had like all of his make all of his characters were like very cute, bright eyed girls with hats. <laughs> with like she wears a hat and she's smiling. And they always had really big heads. And uh, when he, I wish we still had the uh, image. And I really wish I saved it. I wish Ben saved it too. We always talk about it. How he. He did um, his first design of Rosa and Joey very much looked like his style, like very cute, very cartoony, big heads, big eyes, you know. Um, it was adorable, but I'm like, this looks like your style, but it's not Blackwell. <laughs> um, I really wish we still had those because they were, they were adorable. Um, uh, time and effort really shows here in my IMO, in, in my opinion. Thank you. Yeah, I, I do think it's a very strong game. It's actually... Um, uh, it, it's when it came out, I would I, I was still very proud of it. Like usually, I look back at my old work and I'm like, Ugh, this is awful. I think Black World Convergence was just me going, I'm sorry, over and over again. But there's very little uh, for me to be ashamed of here, uh, aside from like some of the visual stuff, which I know is a little bit of a downgrade from the last game. Um, there's very little I'm ashamed of in this game. Uh, there's a few things I'll talk about that later. Uh, all right, let's talk to him. Hey, chum, how's tricks? What? How did you get here? I just want... Get off my boat! Get off or I'll shoot you dead! <laughs> right. Look, why don't you put that toy down and... Ow! What the hell? That hurt! Get off! Mm -hmm. Listen. The guy who Whoa. does the voice hey, of uh, right, Ryan here, uh, his name is Michael Gambino. He's Joe, working for Telltale now as a 3D okay? artist, so good for I'm, him. Looks like we got a spook after all. And he's packing heat. You mean he's got a gun? Were you shot? Yeah, sorta. Sorta. Those ugly what carpets happened? are too Does real. It yeah. It stings a lot. Yeah. Even if I wanted a. You know, one thing I, I noticed about um, when, especially even when I was making the game, and it taught me like one lesson that I never do again. Having them like crammed up in the corner right that there is just very bad visual design because you got all of this empty space here, and they're like crammed up there. I don't know how I would have fixed that exactly. I might have made this a vertical room. So maybe you would have seen the top of the boat and more of the sky or, or something. I don't know, but that, that was bad design right there, putting them way up, especially since it um, they interfere with the GUI, the, the drop down if you go up here. You, you see what happens. It's bad design. Anyway, let us do stuff. Do, 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 do. Oh wait, uh, what is it that I gotta do? Oh yeah, first I gotta go back up here. Okay, whoops, no, go back. All right, let's uh, have Joey look at this carving, which just looks like some low res nightmare. It says Ryan and June, because it's some couple. I like this music cue. Thomas made it especially for like, you've just sort of made some progress music, which I don't think I use too often in the game. Ghost, gun, fun and funny little. I had a, like some days you gotta have fun with your characters and Joey getting hurt is always funny and I don't know why. <laughs> it's just the, I think it's the way Abe always reacts. It's just, um, he reacts very funny. Like the er sound he makes is just great. Uh, I'm sorry, you guys are asking. Uh, you, the, the 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 chat is hopping, and I'm, I'm not catching up to it. So if I, you ask a question and I don't answer it, um, I'm sorry. I'm not ignoring you. I literally just did not see it. So feel free to ask it again. Um, I keep getting him shot. I, I just love when Rose is like, um, you know, like, he shot you six times. Try getting shot again to see if he only has six bullets. And he's like, I, I'm not going to waste time doing that. But um, I found that line funny. Sometimes, like, by this point, I could write these characters in my sleep. Um, I just, uh, I just really, really could. All right, let's see. Yeah, and this is the first time where you could, where the wind and tie were their own anime, uh, own inventory items. Which I think um, it helped a lot with interactivity because usually when there was something to be blown on, uh, and it's still hard to say that with a straight face, um, do I own any yachts? Yeah, I wish. Buy a few more games, guys, then maybe I could afford a yacht. <laughs> do I own a yacht? <laughs> uh, all right. Oh my god, I'm always forgetting. Um, okay, J U N N E. All right. I'm going to take a screen cap of this because I always forget. All right, let's see. So 
switch to Rosa. She comes. She is he coming out? Where's Joey? Oh, there he is. Okay, yeah. In Epiphany, I, I added the um, the ability to this. They could travel separately, and you can call one into the uh, into your room if you needed to. Um, but that's not in this game. They're stuck together. All right, crap. There's no. something fun. Which one was it? I think it was J. I love this puzzle. There's something so satisfying about this puzzle. I can't explain what it is, but it's like, I'm gonna get it wrong on purpose, but I don't know, something about that sound effect and just, I just, I just like it. I don't know, I just love this. And there we go. Holy moolah. Holy moolah. Look at that. Yeah. There's gotta be over I know it's you got an advertisement? <laughs> Sorry. Wow. I've never I would seen part so posit that it's partly Abe and partly the fact that it's a rare thing for Joey look. to be impacted Don't physically touch. by much. True. It's also funny. <laughs> uh, out of all the Black Hole games, which one is your favorite? I'd say Epiphany is my favorite, um, followed closely by this one. Um, Epiphany is the, is the first Black Hole game, and uh, ironically it's the last one in the series. But it's where I managed to get... it, it fits... It's the game I had in my head from the beginning, and I just didn't have the resources or the clout to pull it off. Um, I'll talk more about that when I do Epiphany soon. Um, it feels like bubble wrap. Yeah, pop in little stuff. It's like bubble wrap. Uh, all right, hidden cash. Stacks of hundred dollars. Hmm. And they all have the same. Sound. GCT. Can I do the uh, puzzle yet? Oh no, no. I gotta talk to talk to Ryan about himself and the bank and the money and the stuff. <clears throat> Whoops. Me and my shadow. Yeah. It more, ha, no, it's medium and my shadow. Greetings to Janet back there. <laughs> Someone saw you. Making She's making toast. Uh, okay, so now I'm talking to Ryan. Dave, your microwave. What about it? <laughs> it is a microwave. Um, let's see. Talk hey, to Ghost. You! I want I just right. Sure, and I'm Mother Teresa. Get off my boat! Get off my boat! Look, you don't want to do For some that. reason, I always envisioned. Ca Ouch! Jeez! He's up. <laughs> I always envi I had Poor Captain Picard, Picard going, "Get off my, my bridge!" Boat. when he said that. Okay. Ah, how does he do that? Shot. Yeah. Meme-like catchphrases from Deception. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I don't know if any. Um, I think the. Um, Legal, she's dead is uh, is the one that people tend to quote. Um, you'll know what that is when, you, when we get to it. <laughs> you finished them all in three days. Wow! I, and and now you're watching a live stream. That that was ten years of my. I was eight years of my life that you played in three days. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, money. So the money we found downstairs. Now look. Shut, Shut up. up! That, that money, money is, is mine. mine. Do you loud and clear, pal. La Shot again. Yeah. Hey, what what is it that I gotta do here? I forget. Ryan, GCT. Say, do you know anything about the initials GCT? I, I think, think you, you should, should mind your own business. business. Ah, come on, let's. Ow! Quit that, will you? Please. Oh, right, I gotta bring Rosa up. Rosa is willing to talk to him. Okay, I forgot uh, about that. Why are you I'm just wondering, where do the bullets go? Are they lodged in your ghost forgetting how to play my own game. It's been so here. long. Shut up, will you? The pain's real enough. Just asking. <laughs> you gotta get the key with Rosa. Yeah, that's right. I forgot my own game. This is one, one reason why I love, I just love no this. Good. It's oh, right, right, right. I love this puzzle because it's like, everything is just connected. Like, you, you know, it. you reach up, you grab the key, and you pull it down from another room. I just, I love interconnectedness in terms of locations. and It feels very satisfying. I can't quite explain it. <laughs> I love her hand. It's just there. Do, 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 shlunk. Uh, I played all the Black Hole games over the course of a month or two. I won. I won the money. The money is mine. Hmm? 
Uh, I'm just, I think I'm missing something. <laughs> I knew you'd come is the one that always comes up when I talk to my friend about Blackwell. Yeah. The funny thing about that line is um, the one woman who plays uh, Rosa, her name is Rebecca, um, she is a very crass <laughs> person. That's a very uh, dirty sense of humor. So um, you can imagine her reaction when uh, she said that line. The bloopers for this game are gold. Yeah, mostly thanks to her. She's um, she's she's really funny. Fits perfectly. Whoops! I exited out of the window. She closes the door behind her. I don't know why I always thought I had to do that. Talk Characters always had to close the doors Whoa, behind relax. them. Relax. I'm just here to talk. Talk. Talk, talk is cheap, cheap, and so, so is life. life. Hey, wait! No. Yes, we talked about the change of the face portraits already. Originally, they were done by a guy um, who did a quite cartoony um, so glad that style, worked. and I never, re I never really liked them. I have to say, I think they were fine. They just didn't I'm, suit the, uh, the tone of the game, and eventually, I got them. I got them redone. I own this boat. What? No, you don't. I own this boat. Unavowed going to be in a similar style. It's going to be high res, so double the resolution bank. of uh, of this game. What um, bank? But it's got some unique things to it that I think people are going to like. You're serious? You don't even know who I am, do you? Rebecca is a twisted, dirty-minded so diamond in the rough. What? Yeah, that she is. <laughs> you don't look like a cop, and you're not with the bank. That only leaves... Oh, I get it. You're a stowaway, aren't you? Boy, did you choose the wrong <clears throat> boat. Look, I have no time to deal with this right For those of you who have been uh, following these streams, I'm sounding a lot less coldy and congested than I was when I first started doing them. Uh, now I think I'm, I've given it to, to my, my poor wife. Uh, so you're welcome. Uh, you obsessively close doors of adventure games. Well, then this is the game for you. This is the game for you. All right, now i got to combine stuff. This is, um, I talked about uh, the notes in Blackwell Conversions, how I got rid of them, uh, how I, I um, a lot of the reviewers and, and fans of, of Legacy and Unbound complained that they didn't like the notebook interface, um, and so I removed it in Blackwell Convergence, and then uh, people complained that I removed them, and often uh, what happens when you listen to feedback, and no offense to the fans, you're all wonderful, um, is a, the rule of thumb is that you know testers are great at um, telling you when there's a problem, but they're not great at telling you what the solution is. <laughs> so uh, what what I did, what I had to do, um, is really think about what was wrong with the notebook interface, the clue combining, and and fix what was wrong rather than I, I took the wrong advice. Brother, I, I heard that people didn't like it, so I removed it. When I really should have heard, something's wrong with it. You need to tweak it and make it better. So that's what I did here. And what I did was, um, is that rather than combining things, because usually what would, have, what would happen is that uh, the game forced you to combine clues that in your head you've probably already combined. So you don't think to make, take that actual step of doing it within the game. So what I, I made a point of doing was, if you have to combine clues in Blackwell, it's you. It's you're combining stuff that you would never be able to combine in your head. Like for example, here we've got an initial set of initials and bank, and you wouldn't you wouldn't be able to combine this in your head. Like, well, maybe JCT is a bank. Well, let's find out. Uh, hmm. So she does a web JCT search. JCT could st easy enough to find out. Thought so. There and that's that's JCTs how that was there, improved a lot more. It became a help a rather than something that was an obstacle. If you close door, you get taken by surprise. Oh, that's true. If you're playing stealth games, you always want to close the doors behind you. I just finished playing Dishonored 2, actually. And yes, I closed every door behind me as well, because I'm trying to be stealthy. So I sneak into a room. Yeah, you got to have the door closed behind you. The infamous Alexander, yes. Grant City Trust. I see Ryan and Grant City Trust. I, I need to find out if Ryan... How can I learn more about the... Oh, you look it up. Duh. Grant City Trust. Yeah, and there's that, that little musical uh, sting. Have human joy appear in disavowed? I don't know what disavowed is. I mean, you might. there's an unavowed. You know. uh, what am I doing? I forget how to play my own game. Okay, let's let's talk to this dude. Excuse me. What, what do, you do you want? want? I'm busy. <laughs> 
What's funny is that like when I originally wrote that character, I, I kept thinking of like this, you know, this really angry guy, like really angry and, and you know, bitter and gravelly. And then when, when uh, Michael, the voice actor, he tried a few things and he ended up going with, uh, with the um, Superman, the animated series from the 90s. He was going for the, the Lex Luthor of that series. That was the voice he ended up going with. So um, that's who he was kind of channeling when he was doing this uh, character. I know about the Grant City Trust. What about them? I know you robbed them. Yeah, yeah. well, it, it doesn't, doesn't matter if you know. They, they can't, can't catch, catch me now. now. You used to work for them, didn't you? You bet I did. Thirty years of service, and they were going to lay me off without a second thought. Clancy Brown was amazing well, as Lex Luthor. Like no one else. <laughs> I just <got> <laughs> that is like the voice in my head. Same with Kevin Conroy as, uh, as Batman. No one else can compare. Boston? What's in Boston? I have a cousin with a private plane. That's why. I'm not going to blow on everything I see. I yeah. Boston, you know, it's funny. I mentioned this in Blackwell Leg uh, when I did the Blackwell Legacy stream, but so there's a lot of very, we get to Boston. Not a chance. you know, so like innuendo-laden stuff that I just didn't think about <laughs> at the time. <laughs> I just thought, you know, like ghosts are kind of wind so they would having him blow on things would be something he could do um and i just i don't know and it's not like i was young and innocent and naive i was 30 when i wrote blackwell legacy so i'm a, I'm a late bloomer i guess all right looks like i'm screwing with airborne signals again whatever this thing is it's flickering like i mad. never use this uh um Joey screwing up signals too often. Never, never used it too much in Blackwell. Uh, I, I often struggled to find different ways of using Joey. One of those the screen set. And um, this was one of them, and I never ended up using it a lot. Kind of ended up lampshading it so your Rosa could use her cell phone. It's fine. I'm horribly imperceptive about innuendo too. In replaying, uh, you're in Boston. Sweet. I used to live in Boston. One of the screen set. Uh. That's why a lot, I get a lot of, um, there's a lot of Boston references in a lot of my one games. Of those, this, uh, I think that is of Boston, the yeah. Hard to tell in low res. Um, that's why I, I'm, I haven't played it yet, but I keep wanting to play Cognition because it takes place in Boston. Ah, no, no, no. Okay, it's still Boston. It's still Boston. We're good. Okay. Is the signal thing supposed to be an excessive ability? Um, it's supposed to be true of all ghosts. Uh, I don't know. I, I made it a thing so I, it could, I thought it would be used in more puzzles, but I ended up just not using it. Um, th there's a lot of things. If I regret anything, is that I kind of... I really limited in Joey in terms of what he could do, and so often... I would struggle to like, you know, okay, Joey goes into a room to look around and there's very little, he can't touch anything, he can't move anything, uh, he can blow on stuff and that's it, uh, he can't really do anything. So occasionally I'd throw in something extra like, oh, animals can see him, or in this game, a baby can see him, <laughs> you know, stuff like that, uh, just to kind of add a little bit of something extra. And I thought about giving him extra powers, but I'm like, you know what, no, like, I, I'm, this is, I've, I've limited myself. And actually, it, it helped me be a little more creative. Uh, Dave, you once mentioned the Harry Dresden books. Are they a good preparation before playing Unavowed? You could say that. Um, I'm a huge Dresden fan, so Unavowed is, is basically me trying to do Dresden. Like, I can't get the license, so I'm Excuse doing me. this. What do you want? I'm... So, how far are we from Boston now? Well, Babies are closer to death? According oh my, my god, my that's dark. We are. <laughs> Look at that. According to this, we are mile outside of Boston. I like how Rosa and Joey have different names for different objects. Yeah, that started in this game in, in little tiny ways. I uh, did a lot more with it in Epiphany. Babies are closer to death, really? <laughs> But meanwhile, old people can't see Joey, so there's that. Again, they're all crammed up at the friggin' top of the screen, but whatever. Ryan. <laughs> That's the George Washington Bridge. That's right. Boston. It's not Boston, Boston, it's Baston. No, it's not. B-A-F. B-A-H. H. B-A-H. S-T-O-N. Boston. Boston. Boston is how someone from New York would say it. Boston. Baston Habit. Just how long have Take you been the cab of the packing lot. I don't know. I grabbed the money a few hours after closing time. That must have been 9 p.m. Danny couldn't really see Joey. He registered Joey. It's only been a few hours, right? 
Did anything inspire the names for Rosa and Joey? I hid them um, down below. I Joey, sat. I don't know, but Rosa. Then I heard um, the harbor police on the bullhorn. I mean, they boarded. No, no, they didn't get. I think it was more like I wanted it. Uh, so desperate. Originally, I thought Gabriel I Knight. I missed. It. And they I thought, oh, back. like, let's. What name can I use? And I thought, oh, White. Her name they should be White. And then I thought, oh, well, White sorry, Rose. Man. So her name is Rose White, but I'm like, no, that's too similar to Gabriel Knight. So then I changed her to Rose, Rosa Black. And then I thought that, that didn't sound right, so I'm like, Blackwell. There, I went for, that's how, that's how that name came about. Because um, this was very much me trying to do Gabriel Knight. Um, and uh, I like to think that it became its own thing, um, eventually. And, but uh, in terms of Joey, I don't know. Um... I don't know what nothing really inspired that name. I, I can't really say. I thought like it sounded like a, like a 1930s tough guy name. That that's really all it was. Uh, there was really no major thought process that went into it. The realization sound of a spook becoming aware so chilling. The wind. Yeah, I I, f I don't know where I found it. I found it on some royalty free website in when I did Blackwell Legacy, and um, I've used the same one ever since. Ryan, just leave me alone. Going nuts to find up with coming up with fish, fictional names. I'll say this: um, that if there's like uh, a bad guy or someone who gets killed or hurt or something really bad happens to them, um, they typically have the name of someone who gave me a hard time in high school. That's not a coincidence. Say, Ryan, just leave me alone. Joey from Friends? No, <laughs> I never. I never watched Friends. Hey, Ryan, I'm going to have to ask you to take this. What is it? It's to help you on your way. My way? Yes, Ryan. It's time for you to move on. All right, while they do this, I'm having a sip of water. Yes, I guess it's time. And I spilled it all over myself. Good going, Dave. Okay. Yeah, well, hi. I'm going to have water on my shirt for the rest of the stream. Yeah. <clears throat> And you guys thought I was so professional. It's all so clear to me now. My wife died. How did I manage not to watch Friends? I don't know. For the same reason, I never watched Seinfeld either. All of these classic New York sitcoms I never watched. I kind of lost it. My work suffered quite a bit. Maybe they had no choice Ooh, but to fire. That is pretty. I thought that thirty wow. years of service. Wow! Look at that. Look at that. I, I forgot how pretty this is. I like, I, I know I was down on the art originally, but um, I have a drinking problem. Why yeah, thanks. So uh, but this is really pretty. Wow. Okay, I never really. I, I forgot Still, how nice this looked. The, never get their money the interesting back. thing about the art in this Make game sure is that the um, that, at least. oh my god, the the guy who created the art, his name is Indrek, and he um, he modeled everything in three D. And then he exported it and then colored it. And it's painfully obvious in some places. Um, like, this is obviously a bunch of uh, shapes made in 3D that he tinted. Um, it, there's not a lot of color in, in this game. There's not a lot of... Um, it's, but there were some interesting things that he was able to do because of the 3D, uh, which I'll get into in a bit. Uh, you know, when I saw how different the note space looked for Lauren, I thought it was dependent on the B-Store. Kind of, usually it was dependent on the artist, to be honest. It was always the artist. They all had their different take on it. Every game was, all the backgrounds of every game was done by uh, a different person. So we had, um, uh, yeah, Chris Fimo for Legacy, Aaron Robinson for Unbound, um, Luminous Arts for Convergence, uh, Indirect for this game, and uh, Ben for Epiphany. So we had five different takes on it, which was pretty cool. You know you can't take it with you, right? No, I know exactly what I mean. Then what are you talking about? That's nice, Magamu. You'll find out. We all view Truth. it differently and can view, view it differently at different points I'm in coming. our lives. This is true. I like that sentiment. Say, darling, you wouldn't know how to pilot this floating crate, These portraits are nice. I like no. these portraits. Why? Because we've increased speed by, uh, a lot. And we're headed straight towards the Jersey Shore. Contuses and Rose's Wait, void looked the same because what it was in the same game and we didn't want to redo the whole room. All I these love this song. To me. What do we do? Can you swim? Joey. No time, kid. Abandon ship. I love this song. Hey, careful. Not the Jersey Shore. 
I'm going to leave them on a runaway ship for a bit and, and talk about stuff. Um, I mentioned this with Convergence, how I love these standalone intros, because like one thing they really let me do is um, is I can play around with mechanics and new ways of doing things in a small self-contained area without worrying about having to make it tie into a bigger plot. So this is very much standalone, and I could just design this little thing and play around with mechanics and, and art styles and, and various functions and cool things um, without having to worry about, oh my god, how is this going to affect the rest of the game? Because it doesn't have to. Let's jump. Oh god, oh god. You ready? No. Jump. Ah! The book's on nautical navigation and epiphany. Yep, 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 yep. I love little callbacks like that. Oh god, that's pretty too. Look at that. I can't take you anywhere. Shut up. I'm wet. I'm filthy. <laughs> I should have had her leave little wet footprints, but uh, and I'm in New <laughs> I Jersey. didn't. Relax, will ya? We saved another one. Score another point for us. Yeah. That yacht is completely totaled. The two million bucks as well. We are so not getting paid. Not one. Oh, uh, you know, someone. Set. You guys are mentioning the lag. Someone mentioned I should lower the bitrate. Um, I forget. I, I I meant to do that and I didn't. I'll remember next time. The growing wall of callbacks in Rose's apartment in Epiphany. Yeah, I I enjoyed doing that. That was fun. Do 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 do. Do, 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 do. I always love this Blackwell theme. I love it. I love it. I always loved starting the next game and Thomas sending me something with the Blackwell theme in it. It was. I just loved hearing the whatever one, whatever new tune he did next. I just loved it. She didn't lose her glasses. Well, no. I'm sure she held on to those. Being a guy who wears glasses, I would do the same thing. You don't want to lose your glasses. Trust me. Oh, this is so cheesy. Gosh. Ha! Those blinking stars I stole from Puzzlebots. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Aaron. That was Francisco Gonzalez. Who'd be calling me now? Doing the voice of the newscaster. Joey, you, uh... Right, right. I remember Hello? working on Epiphany and Hi, thought, like, yes. you know, you're working. I thought, you know, you're working too hard when while, your baby's gurgles start to sound like your game's Jeremy? theme music. Oh, Jeremy, yeah. Are you still at the village? The oh news. God, no! I left there a year ago. I work at the city post now. Really? Thanks. I actually hoped you could help uh, Jeremy me with Jeremy was, uh... Me? He was played by a guy named Edward Bauer. Really and, um... I need to follow up. I'll oh, just thanks. skip all this. Um, so, we're moonlighting as reporters now? I used to work with Jeremy. He's okay. And the extra money won't hurt. The City Post is a pr... I... Uh, he was a guy named Edward Bauer, and, um... He was recommended to me by Sarah El Male, who, um... Plays, uh, Tiffany Graham in this game. And she also played, uh, the voice of the computer. And Gemini Roo. So, um, and I kind of, that's what I used to do before I had a casting director. I would ask my actor friends if they could help me find, help me fill a certain role where um, she got cable. Yes, she did. Uh, excuse me. Um, and I, I, I wanted to find like a uh, kind of nerdy everyman voice, is what I asked for. And she hooked me up with Ed Bauer, who was perfect for Jeremy. He ended up playing Ed in Resonance as well. Um, oh, yeah, and Rosa hung up all her photos. Da, da, da. I don't have time to do any writing, and if I need to use the internet, I've got my phone. Yeah, Rose's computer became a little <laughs> more redundant as time went on. Uh, it's this? a poster for a movie called Water Under the Bridge. Yeah, there's um, a lot of callbacks in here. I remember, uh, yeah, putting... The article putting... is titled, I didn't write it, but I did kind of make it happen. It's the last article. It was... It's fine. Um... Alright, let's go. Let's go! Birthday. Oh god, yeah, this is... This is kinda a little hokey looking. And also the mixed resolution doesn't do it any favors. This is like... Because the game was done in 320 by 200, uh, 240 resolution. And I kinda cheated. Um, I, I, bumped, I doubled everything up in Photoshop. Um, so it's really natively 640 by 480, even though it was drawn in um, 320 by 240 um, but it enabled me to cheat and do with some little high-res tricks just to kind of make things a little more pleasant to read um, I use the high-res fonts and, and stuff like that so but here I've got this really ugly question mark that's in a higher resolution than the game so it looks really funny but no one seemed to complain so whatever uh, that sound is awful too anyway let's go to Jeremy's house it's open come on in 
I'll be out in a sec. I like this reveal, is too. This um, how high-rolling reporters live nowadays? I felt this really worked. Mm -hmm. uh, I, people love the character of Jeremy, and sometimes it's like Sorry you try that. to analyze, and when you create a character, you think, what, what, what's, uh, what's going to make people like this character? What's is going to make people you know, uh, resonate with them? Or what's going to make people connect to them? You just never know. Like, uh, it just kind of, Jeremy was a happy accident. Um, what the hell does Joey do when Rose is asleep? I don't know. <laughs> He wanders around. Um, uh, Jeremy, it's good to see you. you yeah, the lighting effects. I meant to great. mention that. Um, <laughs> Hardly. The uh, the yeah, interesting like thing about having done all this in three D. What he did, he did something very interesting. He he modeled all in three D. Did just the basic coloring, and then using the three D uh, software, he created light maps. So that enabled us to do interesting things with like different stages of light, like lights on with the door open, lights off with the door open, open close, that kind of thing. And it was very easy to generate these different lighting schemes. Um, so that was pretty cool. I still think the actual art is a little flatter uh, as a result because um, he didn't really. Uh, do a lot of fancy stuff with the art once he exported it but um it was fine it got done quickly and and uh, that's all i wanted i mean it all came out really nice uh there was a meme about an awkward rosa finally gets invited over by crush he's dead <laughs> yes <clears throat> joey says he lets rosa some privacy when you want to enter the closet with him so probably not yeah friend joey joey has a modicum of class i would say yes it's By the way, guys, I will not, I can guarantee, I will well, not uh, be able to finish this like game uh, today. Because um, to it's longer than the others, and uh, I, I kind of need to limit to myself to around two hours. So, um, and I also have a, a, a call at five that I, I need to uh, take. So, five o'clock EST, I'm going to have to stop it, um, and we'll continue it next time. Uh, so I know I will not get through this game in an hour and 20 minutes. Are you sure there's nothing else wrong with you? It's How did he not go food. insane? In Maybe he did. He was in a mental asylum. All right, Jeremy, tell me about this article of yours. Brilliant. I knew you wouldn't let me down. And originally, uh, Jeremy was going to be alive in this game when I originally designed it. He was going to be a living person and kind of be the like love interest for Rosa, which I, I, I've never done the love story thing, so that would have been an interesting thing to try. But my problem was that when I when I was trying to figure out, you know, design it and, and kind of design the flow of it and the dialogue and try to figure out what exactly Jeremy was doing, my problem was is that there was just no, I just couldn't think of why Jeremy was gonna needed Rose's help like why would he call her and I was trying to kind of jumping through hoops trying to come up with reasons for it of how they would meet and, and get together and he, how he would ask for her help and I just couldn't do it nothing worked nothing gelled and um, I, all I could think was that the only reason why he would need her help is if he was dead so <laughs> I killed him sorry Jeremy remind me what do you need me to do again the first thing is go over to the Someone beat this office. game in Red 1 minute and 28 minutes. seconds or is it 1 hour and 28 minutes? Oh, that could be done for sure, no question. Hour and 28 minutes, I can do this in an hour and 28 minutes easily. If I skipped all the dialogue and, and didn't talk, but otherwise why are you here? Uh, uh, consult my notes. So, Jeremy, tell me about yourself. We never got much of a chance to talk back then. Me? Um, I was born upstate. Not all right. Well, I better get going. Thanks. Yeah, look, you can call me Rosa. All right. Rosa it is, then. All right, pile of photographs. There's a little bit of oh a pixel my hunt. Is that me? I mean, us? Oh, God, there's a frame yeah. around it. Oops. You remember the 05 Christmas party? <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, I remember... I, I see. Oh, God. Why is there a frame around it? I remember... You know, when this, because I got these touched up a little bit. I think they might have put a, the, the guy who touched them up might have put a frame around it by accident. Because um, I remember thinking this shouldn't have a frame on it because it should have just been like on top of a pile of pictures um, rather than framed up on a wall. Because that's actually kind of creepy if he framed this picture and put it on a wall. And here it is framed. So, oh my God. <laughs> so, all right, Jeremy's a creep now. Great, thanks. Thanks, artist who did this. Um, yeah, Ivan, Ivan. Thank you, Ivan, for making Jeremy a total creep now. Oops. 
Wait, I think I'm supposed to take it? Oh no, I don't need to take it yet. Uh... Hey, look. Before you go, I just want to, well, apologize. This must be how George Lucas felt. Asking you such a big favor like this. Original Rosa, yeah, that was a callback. Put her in her original green sweater. No, you don't have to do that, really. I don't know if any of you read the webcomic Questionable Content by Jeff Jacques, um, but there's a character in that comic named Penelope. She's just one of the baristas. And um, there was this one story arc where she was wearing a particular outfit, um, where she was wearing kind of what exactly what Rosa's wearing now, except it was a green shirt. And I, I always envisioned that character a little bit like Rosa, kind of like awkward intellectual type who reads a lot. And so I copied that outfit for Rosa. Let's see. Uh, Jeremy looks German in that photo. I'm just reading the, the, the chat here. I'm assuming ghosts can use items like they had them on at death. Why not? Uh, no, honestly, my, my get out of jail free card was that there are no rules. Like, why, why can Ryan uh, pilot the boat? He just can. Why can Kendra play the piano? She just can. Uh, there was no rhyme or reason. It was kind of a get out of jail free card. It wasn't important. What do you know about Jeremy Sams? Jeremy? He works here. Yes, His exactly. Just exactly. Up there on the second floor. But I am a few days. You can so assume as much from the boat ghost having a gun and the deacon having his no flask. Idea. Exactly. If you'd like to leave him a mess. Was I feel like Rosa has gotten more serious and matured over the games. Was this intentional? Very, very much so. Um I, I always intended for her to like get less awkward and, and stronger as time went on. Um I think that uh I made her a little too awkward in Blackwell Legacy and kind of maybe um, moved moved the timetable forward a bit for by convergence because I wanted her to be less awkward and, and less you know um, hesitant to do stuff but that was that was definitely the idea uh, it's more that she grew into herself and became more like she's still the same person without question she's just kind of more confident in herself she doesn't suddenly become a badass by epiphany uh, though she does have a damn awesome coat just more she's uh, I love the a friend of mine often said you grow into your power and that's what she did do you know anything about Jeremy's death huh Jeremy's death I'm kind of looking into it Jeremy's dead are you serious you mean this you character know? was voiced by a not. fan um I'm not sure oh my god what was her name I can mean? picture her sure. I, I can picture her face what happened I I'm sorry, I forgot your name already. I, I'm really, really sorry. Um, but she was an actress who moved to New Jersey, and she asked me if she could be in the game. <laughs> this is how it worked back then. Uh, and I said, I, I told her to send me a reel, and I cast her. So um, there was that. Oh, my God, I can't believe I've forgotten her name. Uh, I feel so bad. I'll remember it after the stream is over, I'm sure. Uh, I was told you'd be expecting me. You'd my name is be Rose expecting Angela Blackwell. Me? Okay. Sorry, I wasn't told anything. And earmuffs. Really? Yeah, the earmuffs were badass too. And pick up some notes. Sorry, but if you don't have permission Her forehead, to be here, it's I as big as a football field. Actually, the portrait is based on a fan uh, named Shaney Rose. There are a few characters, um, there are a few uh, fans who are really, really um, uh, active on my forum. And I kind of wanted to reward them for that by uh, giving them, by basing portraits off of them. And this is based off of someone named Shaney Rose. Um, who I don't think that's her real name, but that's her forum name. And uh, I asked her if that was okay, and she said okay. And I was, it, but the weird thing is, she's a redhead, and Rose is a redhead, so it's like, all right, how do you differentiate between these two? Uh, fortunately, she's not um, a major character or anything, so. Uh, I really do need to see Jeremy's notes. Maybe you could get them for me. No, I can't. I felt like a great personal journey playing through the Blackwell games. Thank you, thank you. Um, I said with this with the last stream. Um, it was very personal to me, and I think that's kind of what um, helped make the connection with a lot of people, and, and they were willi willing to forgive a lot of the clunkiness of Blackwell, of which there's quite a bit. Um, all right. Could I ask you if I don't... No, 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 I don't think there's anything we can do here. I'll be going by. I'll be going by. I remember one of the cleverest things about this game was that so much of the soundtrack contained the Blackwell theme. Yeah, yeah, Epiphany had that too. And that, that's no accident. Unbound had the same exact thing. Conversions had the same thing. Uh, Thomas really was into recurring themes. It's the notebook that Jeremy asked us to find. Do you have any advice on people right trying now, to write I a game? What's inside. <laughs> um, just do it, honestly. Uh, start small and work your way from there. 
is the only quick, quick and dirty advice One I can give in, in this things. kind of setting. All redheads look the same. Woo. <laughs> All right, post-it note. The High Line, this could be it. Also done in a high-res font. The High Line Park. Dun, 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 dun. I use this, I think I use this th tune quite often. I think I reused it a lot in Blackwell Epiphany. Um, I actually think it was from, it was originally from Convergence as well. It was Monique's office. Computer, yes. The thing about it always makes me incredibly sad as the track from Epiphany when the little girl played that piano theme. Oh yeah, the Trollgate theme. Mm -hmm. uh, Alright, Highline. When I first designed this game, I, my, the Highline had just opened, and um, as a park, it used to, it was this, uh, it was this railway on the on the west side that kind of um, it, it delivered like meats to all these different factories on the west side, and then it you know stopped being used for decades, and it was just this overgrown park and then a, a overgrown wasteland really, and then um, it got turned into a park about uh, ten years ago. And uh, my wife and I went there around the time it opened, and we just loved walking there. And of course, I had to put it in the game. Of course, now it's such a tourist trap. It's mobbed. You try going there any any time, it's like elbow to elbow, shoulder to shoulder. You can't move. There's so many people. Excuse me, officer. It's Detective. Detective, Detective Grundislav. And you shouldn't be up here at this hour. Someone died, didn't they? Gee, what tipped you off? <laughs> Believe me when I say I you love don't Durkin. want to be involved. Joey will figure out computers, I'm sure. Could you tell me it's not that he was? didn't. It's not that Could he just didn't know computers. He couldn't actually use them, know. so we never got the so chance to learn. Uh, what do you call it, uh, John Doe? Yeah, sure, whatever. <sighs> Sam Durkin is one of my favorite reoccurring characters. Yeah, me too. He's kind of like the Jay and Silent Bob of of everything I do. Did something happen here? No, I'm doing street art. Of course something happened. <laughs> you should run along home. You don't I'm want street art. to happen to you. I think I know who the victim was. How you many people are still in the His name was stream? Oh, 41. I lost some of you. Oh, well. Jeremy Sams. And how do you know this? I just do. He showed up in Shiva. The Shiva did. was the, his original Ish. game, what by the way. The Shiva came long reasons. before Blackwell. That's where Sam Durkin first started. So you say he showed up in the Shiva and I nearly spat out my tea. <laughs> the Shiva was his first game. I'm positive the victim is Jeremy. Maybe I can ID the body. You want to come look at the body? You know how crazy you sound? <laughs> I do. You come out of nowhere and say you know the a moose to by his looking face. at an outline. Yeah, sounds crazy. Even if you could ID the guy, it wouldn't hold up. Who would win in a sarcasm match? I never thought of Joey as particularly sarcastic. Or Durkin is sarcastic. Durkin is more surly. Um, Joey is more, I guess, more deflecting. Like he's more, he's more witty, I guess. I'm offering information here. Why won't you take it? You think you're the only crackpot with a theory? We have procedures. We'll release a photograph. The archetype that Joey said he doesn't like. Does Joey say that? Right. He must be investigating whatever happened here. I just wish I knew why he looks so familiar. <laughs> you know why? Because he was also in Unbound as, uh, you know, he was, it was Sam Durkin, the little kid. What do you want me Not to... Not little kid, he was a teenager. At the end of Epiphany, he probably still has Rose's apartment keys. He can go there. Uh, right, I gotta go to Jeremy's place. Come on in. Will I ever release a game using only my placeholder heart? Trust me, no one wants to play that. Trust me, no one wants to play that. Jeremy, could I have this photo? He doesn't. Really? You know, it's funny. A sure. Slight spoilers for Epiphany, by the way. But um, let's so cover your ears. Uh, <laughs> it's so funny how people seem to remark the fact that Joey at the end of Epiphany doesn't have like an ID or a passport or you know, uh, social security number or anything, as if that was like preferable not preferable like less preferable than being dead you know, like he was dead and now he's alive i think he'd rather have, be that <laughs> oh you mean the the archetype he's not fond of i thought you meant he wasn't fond of durkin okay now i gotta show him the photo 
Why is it framed? Oh my god, Jeremy, you creep. All right, anyway. Is this the same man you found? Everything is digital these, that. these days. That's he wouldn't write for right. a newspaper. What did you say his name was? Jeremy Sams. Jeremy Sams. blowing smoke in Rose's face. What's your face. relation to <laughs> We used to work together. <sighs> hmm. You know any of his family? Anyone we can notify or speak to? I know he was report. Right. And we're gonna Here's I'm my sure partner. Joey will figure Spiritual it out. Spiritual services, huh? Why do I always end up with the nuts? I'm sure anyway, he'd rather be alive. Right. Good night. <laughs> Don't stay up here too long. It ain't safe. It ain't safe. Get out of here. Um, you're welcome. Feel like a lot of us relate to Joey on a personal level. Well, that's that's cool. I uh, yeah no I'm I'm glad I'm really glad. Be a kick to fly. I'm really glad. Uh, that's what I always hoped to achieve uh, was that these characters were, were relatable. Um, because Rosa is definitely like like New York and or urban life as seen through me, like kind of filtered through my. Um, my experience of it at various stages of my life. Like when I first moved here in, in 99, it was very overwhelming. I was very much like Rosa in Blackwell Legacy. And as I kind of got older and, and lived here and kind of discovered more about myself, I I kind of gained confidence in the same way that Rosa has. So it's very much me. She's kind of me. The end of Epiphany is set before Trump's presidency, so at least he doesn't get deported. <laughs> okay, you know what? I, I'm, I'm not going to go there. <laughs> I'm not. I don't talk politics. Um, although, trust me, meet me in person, buy me a couple of drinks, I will talk politics plenty. Not right now. Um, okay, go back to the city post. Joy Malone oh, for president. You. I... Just got off the phone with the police. You were right. Jeremy is. I know this is the one Blackwell game that doesn't have the little um little window behind the text, and I wonder I'm why sorry. that is. No, I'm sorry. About before I Unavowed is set after. It's set after it Blackwell. Murder? I wasn't sure at the time. Joy hooks up with Nashanti. Sure. <laughs> you said um. you were investigating his death? Yes. I wanted to take a look at his desk. Right, just I'll do Okay, let's go into the elevator. Sorry, I had to get my ears scratched. These headphones are <laughs> a little, uh... Do you know a bar called the Mineta? As I said with the Blackwell conversion stream, <laughs> it's very hard to get into the Mineta these days. One thing that was always neat about Blackwell, and it was always neat when it worked out, is how you'd enter room as Joey, and he couldn't touch it or do anything, and, and he'd react to things in certain ways. And then you could enter the same room as Rosa later, and it would kind of change things a little bit, because she would react to things differently, and she could actually interact with things. And it did kind of um, help with production value, because it kind of, it was, it was kind of neat dynamic. Is there a specific one that inspires Johnny Ivory's? Uh, yeah, actually. Um, there was a piano bar like that in Boston that I used to go to. Um, Jake Ivory's, I think it was called. It was uh, on Lansdowne Street near uh, Boston University, where I went to school. Uh, I don't think it's around anymore. No one knows where that Joe Gould portrait went. I know. No one cares. It's uh, it's kind of this ephemeral New York thing, you know. It's like, yeah, yeah. I know. It sucks. Gosh, yeah. That door is really crammed on the side of the screen. There. That's a really bad place to put it. I would never put a door there now. Did it hurt to write the ending of Epiphany? Hell yes. I mean, I had these characters in my head for eight... I mean, I've been writing the games for eight years, and plus I had had the characters in my head for several years before that. So, yeah, it, it hurt a lot. It's kind of, I knew that's the way it had to end, but um, uh, it, it still hurt to do it, because it's like saying goodbye to anything. It's it's It was hard. I still miss it. I still miss it. There was this, like... I remember once I was in a cafe do, designing Unavowed, and it was a rainy day pouring outside. I was listening to this very sad music and I looked out the window and I saw a redhead woman with the black coat and the headphone and the head uh the earmuffs and like I thought I saw a ghost. It was really really weird. I know she's not real. I mean, she wasn't Rosa, couldn't have been, but at the same time it's like I felt. I felt it. It was very very strange. Um I watched the convergence stream yesterday and finally bought Joe Gold's secret on Amazon. Sweet. Awesome. Okay. I'm I'm really really glad. It's a great book. Everyone should read it. Um, 
I didn't get the notebook, did I? Bum bum dun 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 dun. That's really weird and creepy. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah, I thought so too. I mean, you know, it's not like it was anything special. Just redhead woman wearing right, a black Jared, coat and earmuffs it in, in winter. I mean, According you know, this, wasn't such a, a, a stretch. Looks like Jeremy. All right, I'm not gonna go read all that stuff. Derp. Yeah, derp. Derp, derpy, derp. Oh, it's four o'clock already. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. That was rude. <clears throat> da, 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 da. Okay, go back to Jeremy. Come on in. Do I believe in ghosts? I believe in something. Oh. I believe that we we're not just we don't just turn off when we go. That there's something else. Whatever that is, I'm in no hurry to find out. So uh, that that's all. That's the only way I can answer that question. I got your notebook. You are a rock star. You are a Here rock you go. star. It's funny thing, Edward Bauer. Right. He did like uh, if, thought, could you in terms of his theater shows, show? he always tends to play these like over the top, like crazy, crazy, crazy characters. And yet, I always cast sure. him in these like yes. kind of nebbishy everyman roles. So sure, it's that 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 juxtaposition is kind of funny. You wrote about someone named Penelope Haynes. Penelope Haynes. Yeah, she's an interesting case. She's a victim, but doesn't believe she's a victim at all. She embraces it. I wish it was uncommon, but unfortunately it's not. What do you mean? God, my head. It's like thinking through a straw. I always tell developers to change the music when there's like a different emotion or like a, a change of tension or something. It almost doesn't even matter what. It's like changing the music just changes things. Just, it just, I don't know, it's important to do that. I'm just... Of course, you're sick. I understand. Thank you. But I do need more. I've mentioned before on. how, like, Speech the fact that ghosts she lives up on park are kind of malleable in terms of so you know, how they they uh, they remember certain things. They try to f they don't remember certain things. They kind of change their reality to try to like um, avoid thinking about their own death. They'll deliberately try to avoid thinking about things. They will refuse to tell you certain things, and it was sort of like left up. But there's no consistency from ghost to ghost, so. I had a bit of, um, it was a bit of a cheat for me that I could kind of change uh, the ghost's memory or everything on the fly to kind of force the player to do certain things. Um, and it was kind of cheap, but it worked because of who they were. I deliberately kept all the ghosts kind of inconsistent. So, um, like here, <clears throat> Jerry remembers everything about what he wrote, but he doesn't remember going to the High Line uh, because that makes him think about his death and that forces you to do the legwork. Do I have a favorite ghost from any of the Blackwell games? This one is up there. Um, this one's definitely up there. Uh, Jamie Graham from this game as well. Kendra Haskins from Epiphany. Um, let's see here. What am I doing? You wrote in your notes that you lost your phone. Did I? Yes, you did. I'm sure there is I Obsessive did. Teenage I Geek. must have found it. Maybe. Got it right here. Uh, um, I didn't go too deep into the the lore because uh i just felt it wasn't important you know like i i realized something when i was um well, uh actually it was during the last stream because I, I always kept thinking like uh i was very down on myself when i did the conversion stream and i um often like i often sometimes second guess my own work and i was trying to rather than think about why people what didn't work about the games it's like why do, why do people like them so much despite all the clunkiness and i think it's because um, with any anything, with any kind of world building or, or story, you know, you can have a big expansive world, but it can get very overwhelming and, and go over your head unless the, the writer, whoever's telling stories in this world, keeps a very narrow focus within it. And with Blackwell especially, it was never about the big overarching story. Um, that wasn't the draw. The draw were the little, the, the little human dramas and tragedies and the relationship between Rose and Joey. 
those are the strengths of it. And I, I really did focus on those. Those are the things most important to me. And I think that's what kept people coming back. And that's why people really like the series. Uh, and we're able to sustain our living <laughs> enough for us to make more, uh, even though the overarching backstory and overarching plot was a little clunky and patchy in places. Um, there's a lot of holes in it if you really pay attention. So, um, it, but that doesn't matter so much because the core of it, the relationships and the little dramas and stuff, are are very very strong. And I think that's as, as, uh, because I focused on that and made those good the rest of it didn't matter so much it's important but it not as important uh, i was forgiven a lot because the core aspect of it was done well i think unavowed has a bit more lore yeah it has a bit more lore for sure but again uh i mean you know not to spoil unavowed but the focus is on on the characters that you're playing uh, as as you and your companion characters that's where the focus always is um and like their reactions to your decisions and how they react to things that happen around them is the core of it but i'm not going to get into unavowed now that's a long way away um the narrow focus gives us what we really want which often gets lost with games with bigger scopes and budget for sure uh all right, wait, wait, whoops. All right, what am I doing now? Penelope Haynes, yep. <laughs> yes, Penelope Haynes. This is Shelly Shinoy again. I'm Madison Haynes. Penelope is my mother-in-law. Can I, I always pre-order Wazard Eye games. They're the only games I pre-order. Thank ago. you. You know, it's like I had this interesting conversation with a guy um, at GDC because I attended this this talk called um, The Death of Pre-orders. About how you shouldn't pre-order, and I actually uh, asked him. I said, "You know what? People really like pre-ordering my stuff. Whenever I announce a new game, the question is never when is the game coming out; it's when can I pre-order." And I always found that very interesting because a lot of people are down on pre-orders. Like you should never pre-order games, um, and I often wondered why that was. <laughs> and uh, I think it's uh, there are reasons for it, and I think people just like like supporting it. And I do give little extras and things. Um, I, I, I honestly, I'm sure there are many reasons for it, um, but people like it, so I do it. Striped shirt and baby. This was I actually uh, wrote this game before we got pregnant with our daughter, so it's sort of funny having this okay. now you because look. you can you walk She's the baby into a wall, dead. which is what? funny. No. You've what earned our trust like? over and over again. I, Thank you. Well, Thank you. You said it. Uh, Thank you so much. That I really that that means a lot. Thank you. Where did she go? Where she can be taken care of. She's quite elderly. A nice enough woman, but needed as you can, so and it's I'm not gonna <laughs> That siren is from my window, not the game. What did Jeremy speak to? You don't uh, know? Aren't you from the paper? Not exactly. Jeremy I love this poor is, uh, infant. I see. Yeah, like well, I said, I, I kind of gave spoken. Joey a new He's ability. Yeah, babies can see him because why not? Sort of, I think that was the same thing with Alan in Quantum Leap. How very small children could see him. And they, there was a, there was a, um, there was a technobabble reason for it, but, uh, it was, it was kind of neat. They, were, they had some interesting little bits in there where little kids could see Al, and they would react, and people were like, oh, she's got an imaginary friend. Well, thanks for the chat. I might be back to follow up. I don't really have anything. <laughs> thank you, Sirkinet. Sirkinet. I, I I can't pronounce any of your names. I'm sorry. Um, thank you. That's really that's really cool. Send Joey in. <laughs> I love that little giggle. He's staring right at me. Kids that young have always been able to see ghosts like me. Four games in, and now it's scared, a thing. Though. I guess they don't know any better. Glossy women's magazines and tabloid junk. So, how's it going? Oh, no need to get up. Oh. <sighs> I think she says uh, he's six months old. I don't think babies can usually walk around at six months. They might be. They might be standing up. I know some babies walk at like eight months. It's rare. Our kid wasn't walking until a year old. Uh, I think Wajdai is like a seal of quality, much like Kojima or Bioware. Thank you. Thank you. I... I I know Bioware, a lot of people are down on Bioware, but I still like them. The baby remembers the abyss it emerged from? Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh my god, wow! <laughs> Bump. Oh my swear, god, Chris, Manko, that is dark, dude. I love how she just doesn't care. I mean, like, I'm sorry, if that happened to my kid, just walking into a wall, I'd be like, oh my god, are you okay? Are you okay? 
Yeah, well, disinterested parenting. What was Gavin based on? Um, we, uh, uh, some interesting stories about um, uh, the street psychic culture. Uh, I actually... Um, some of you know the story. We talked about it... Uh, we talked about it in another stream, but um, a friend of mine had gotten scammed really badly by a, a street psychic. Um, she just kind of got taken in by it for some reason. She was going through a rough patch and got taken in by these street psychics and um, or this street psychic and was so embarrassed and humiliated about the whole thing. She kind of wanted to take her down. <laughs> and so she called the news comp a news organization and um, they wanted someone to kind of go in undercover kind of and, and with a with a mic with a little lapel mic and, uh, and camera to kind of get her on get her on camera doing her thing and Chen uh, I'm sorry uh, can't erase that can I anyway it's been so long uh, and she uh, she, um, uh, she asked me because she knew I liked these games and um, I, I wrote these games and thought it would be interesting for me and I said yes yes it was and so uh, I agreed and I went in and um, I kind of based a lot of uh, this game on my experience there. Techno Babylon is, is brilliant. Like, it just you could just I feel the creativity the just just leaping the off the screen. There's just so much in Techno Babylon that's amazing. I just I, I want him to make a sequel. It's the it's the only one of our games that I've, I published that I think would benefit from a sequel. Like Gemini Ru, story's done. Primordia, story's done. Resonance, story's done. But Techno Babylon, I feel that world is so much fun and so interesting and fascinating, and, and I, I want him to do more. Um, but he, he's, he's focused on other stuff right now, so. Techno Babylon may be curious what human flesh tastes like. Well, good luck with that. Hi. Why is everyone so dark tonight? That's a good question. Right place. <laughs> I'm looking for a Pen Mrs. Haynes. She spends her time. <gasps> I forget the name of this actress too. It was a remote a actor, floor, and I, I rarely Thanks. work with remote actors. But it was such a small role uh, that I was willing to do it as long as the quality of the mic was good, and um, it was. So I forget her name. I don't even remember. I don't remember who it was. Could you tell me a bit about this place? World building really is fantastic is one of uh, in Techno Babylon. I uh, work, I love but it. You don't want to hear a PR spiel like there's sometimes like where I see someone's game and it's like I have to have it. That was one of them. As soon as I saw it, it was like it ticked everything on the Dave likes this list. Can you tell me anything about Penelope Haynes? I remember Her? my first time Her? playing Legacy. It was Very just another point and click game to distract myself. But it was, uh, after I finished it, it was more than a game for me, and I was totally in love. Oh, thank you. After that, I buy all Blackwell games, and I've bought almost all Wajedi games. I think to remain, I'd like to see you online again. Hi. Um. Uh, Eilish? Eilish, is that how you pronounce your name? Thank you so much. This is, uh, okay you guys are so flattering to me today. This is wonderful. Uh, I admit, mean, this, this is why we make these games, uh, for, for responses like this. You know, this is why, this is what keeps us doing them. Apparently, this, this painting here is supposed to be based on Lauren Blackwell, which, would be kind of weird <laughs> if it really was Lauren Blackwell. Um, is there any way to get the sheet music for Songs in the Blackwell games? Contact Thomas Reagan. I'm sure he could help you. Uh, I certainly can't. <laughs> there, there. It's only visitors. That's my voice, by the way. Don't ask me to do the voice again. Um, oh, the woman playing... Uh, Penelope, her name is Jennifer Holmes, someone I went to summer camp with alongside Abe. Penelope Haynes? Hmm. Oh, Matt. A sequel with well, Max? This is a surprise. Oh, Max Lau from Techno Babylon. No, I'm not I love her. Love her. You're not. Really, it's the voice uh, actress who sold her. Uh, Sorry, Ariel is amazing. You're going to see a You're lot from Ariel. Kaiser She's going to take off of somewhere. Essence. Like, I, I almost confused. felt amazed that I was. I could cast her and stuff now for what I can afford because she is that good she is going to be somewhere really big really soon she's really talented um, you said something about an aura I could see it a mile away your aura my dear yeah another case of a young person doing an old person her. Her? 
Yeah, I, I don't think, I think I, I, I said in Conversions that uh, Marty Goldwater like was the works. last time I ever did it. I was wrong. Really? This was the last time I no, did a young person no. playing an old person. I don't have a nose and I could tell she was swimming in it. Madison is a spiritual viper. I'm sure Thomas Reagan could give it to you if you asked him. Uh, he's on Twitter, I know that. He's on Facebook. Um, he's he, you could he's easily contactable if you need to. Uh... You think Madison is a spiritual viper? <laughs> the energy spiritual viper. energy flows into her but doesn't come out. She just cares. All right, I'm just gonna. She She's babbles on for a while. Um, usually, by this point, I was pretty good about keeping the dialogue down. Um, I was I, I, this is like man. the time when I think He's I really understood now, I what I liked I and what worked about there. these types of games. Um, Deception's when it really all came together for me. I think all my experience and all my all my theories and stuff about games, I kind of put them into practice here. And I think this is, especially at, when this game came out, it was um, the best thing I'd done. I, I just still say that. And usually I, I can't stand my old work. This still works. I still like it. You know, I still love it. Where did you send Jeremy? To the next phase, of course. To the next phase. The next phase. All right, you. Could... All right, someone's calling me, and it's a spam call. Goodbye. What did you and Jeremy speak about? My work, the universe, so many people. Not to get so dark again, loves. but... <laughs> oh, no, please do. Please do. Do you know Jeremy? What? What are you talking about? Jeremy is dead. He was... Oh... Oh my. A lot that of this was also based on, um, class. I know some people, uh, or someone in particular, not, not my friend who got scammed by the street psychic, but, um, someone who really kind of went off the deep end in terms of like spiritual stuff. Um, and kind of like, sort of very much like Penelope where, uh, she kind of feels important by existing. It's very, very strange. Um, and I kind of based a lot of Penelope on this person and uh, kind of how you, uh, it's hard to explain the esotericness of it. I didn't quite understand it myself, which is why I kind of put it all into Penelope. Um, but yeah, it's, it can really, this kind of stuff can really destroy people. Um, what kind of work do you do? I bought the I first four games changed. in the Steam bundle because it was cheap and hey, it sounded I pretty exist. good. By the time I finished really? conversions, I just went, what okay, I'm going to see, there? I just want to know how this well, ends. So I bought Epiphany. Time, it took about a week and a half oh, to play through it all. <laughs> Stop by Thank anytime. you. Thomas Reagan sent me the track Mary's theme from Epiphany because it was missing from the digital soundtrack? Really? I think it might have been named something else. I don't remember. I'm sorry. Was it? Okay. Sorry. My mistake. What happened the first time Joey was connected to a host? How did he figure out he was supposed to help the dead? Uh, he just did. <laughs> it just sort of was instinct. He just knew what to do. Will we get Rose's grave and unavowed? Jesus! <laughs> you guys really are dark today. <laughs> wow. You guys. How scaring me. Joey. Joey. Is that you? Huh? Are you talking to me? Who the shocked expression? Hello? Anybody there? Joy. Yeah, that's my name. Do I know you? Uh, I'm afraid he does that sometimes. Talks to people who aren't there, or perhaps they are. He sees the world through different eyes. Oh, for crying out loud, shut up. Joy, what? Are you? No, not you. Get the elevator, Red. We're leaving. Joey. You really want to have this conversation here? Get the damn elevator. So are you going to tell me? We are what you made us. Are you happy? Like Very much Maybe so. Maybe nobody. Maybe somebody. I don't know. You don't know. No, I don't. If there's something to say, I'll say it. Until then, we got a spook to sort. How Danny was introduced went through so many iterations. Like, originally he was a ghost. Originally he wasn't. Originally he... Uh, was both in the hospital and a ghost, uh, and eventually settled for this very, very subtle thing. I had this weird idea where um, uh, Lisa's uh, psychic place, or there was some location in the game, which was the tailor shop where they used to work, and um, 
Joey would see that and Rosa would see what was currently there and you'd flip back and forth and it was this neat idea but it didn't really work in practice. <laughs> you are the guy who spent eight years of his life making stories about dead people. Yeah, guilty as charged. Uh, I always feel sorry for Joey when stuff like this happens. Joey needs a hug. Aw. Nice inconsistent resolutions on the icons. I mentioned this before. I mentioned this before. So, you know, no point in calling me on it now. I mentioned it before. Uh, where am I going? Where am I going? Um, where am I going now? Oh my god, I completely forgot where I'm supposed to go. Haynes, I think. Oh, you again. I told you, there is no reason for you to be here. I spoke to your mother-in-law. You spoke to Penelope? Yes. I told you not to speak to her. No, you said you wouldn't tell me where to find her. I found her anyway. <laughs> Clever girl. That sounds like excellent fanfic done? material. She well, <laughs> knock yourself out. I have to admit, um, people have written fanfic. I can't <laughs> read them. I love seeing fan art. That's different. But fan fiction, She's it's not rich. that I think they're She's bad. Needy. I just, I just can't do it. It just feels so weird to me. I just can't do it. Um, it's one thing seeing someone's visual idea of your characters in your world. It's one thing to see what's in their head and how it, because it's always going to differ from yours. It's just too weird. I just can't do it. I, I think it's awesome that people do it. And so I don't, uh, I won't like tell you you can't do it. It's just, I won't read it because it's just too weird for me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, Wait, what is this? That's why as you're, the more locations you unlock, the more obvious it becomes. Yep, 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 yep. I won't deny it. Uh, I, I'm not... <laughs> I didn't, like I said I, I, uh, earlier, I didn't really think about visual stuff back then. Her portrait isn't black-skinned, but her body is? Who is this? You're talking about Madison? What did the, he brainwashed her is what he did. He made her Who's black-skinned? Who isn't black-skinned, but her body is? Superficial. Okay, we're well off. I can't deny that. But the Rule thing 34, Joey and Rosa. I'm sure it's out there. I have no desire to look for it. Left everything. Even my husband couldn't look at her anymore. So, we sent her away. Was it a lot of money? Who cares about the money? The money isn't the point. She turned her back on her family, her son, her new black grandchild. Black skin? She's not just black skin. Just because cult leader told her to. You stick by your family. That's just what you do. Funny how Shelly usually plays these very, like... Wistful or very happy characters. Um, so she also played Amy in Shard Light, so maybe not all happy. But um, I know, I know, we're horrible, ungrateful people. Don't think we don't. Originally, Shelley was going to play Lisa, but, she was but her voice was a little too light and sweet to carry it off. I needed someone at a deeper register to carry it off. Not that she would. She did not. Well, I goodbye then. Her sprite is more tan than her portrait. Well, let's see. I don't know. Do, 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 I think, uh, Joey can leave. That, yeah, Bonko, thank you. Like, like I said, people tend to forgive a lot of clunkiness. Uh, what am I doing? Going to Seagram. Spray bottle tan. Well, you know, a lot of rich old people do that. Oh god, that was a political statement, wasn't it? Mrs. Hain. Oh, it's you. I don't find her very dark-skinned in that portrait. Or her sprite. I, I swear, I don't see it. Lisa has somewhat unlikable personality. I, she's not a very likable person, what can I say? Madison told me she gave you a key to her apartment. A key? No, she didn't. She Checking told me out that ass? Well, she's lying. <laughs> she hates me, so she wouldn't give me anything. You understand? I'm not sure I do. That's all right. Maybe you're not supposed to. I spoke to Madison about you. Oh, I'd advise against that. Oh god, I'm like Five playing with my fingers here. I'm like right in the camera. All right. Your spiritual growth. Keep my hands down. Plot twist. Everything's a political Did statement. You really? Sure. They have everything they need. I'm giving it to a much worthy the work. Ma uh, for years. She Perhaps talks a lot. I'm skipping she it. Even this gap, gap, blah, the parado. Oh yeah. Prove him. Are you? I prove him. Oh yeah. Here well, we go. Oh, it's been a pleasure. Stop. Oh, it's been a pleasure. Man, 
that is something I never thought of as being tan either. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't see it. I don't see it. I'm sorry. Um, oh yeah, here we go. Joey needs to look at the chart. That was a bit of a pixel hunt. I'm sorry. Um, Looks like a the hand room 12G. I should have handled that a little better. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Plot twist: Scully is a medium. You really should have ended the Blackwell series with that guy from the very first Legacy puzzle blocking the door for Joey. <laughs> that would have been funny. Except I think I, I made it canon that they got a um, uh, a buzzer system. and, and uh, Actually, maybe that was just in my head. It was never in a game. Because there's like you see in Rose's apartment, there's a little buzzer and intercom. And that's I think that that's what they switched to. They changed uh, so you no longer need a doorman. But yeah, that, that would have been funny. That would have been funny. Does this belong to any- Nobody- Count all the characters in the game? I'm not counting all the- I'm, How many characters would be in the game total? A lot. Alright. I have the honor, um, of, uh... uh hmm. <clears throat> there's this, um, reviewer, crit critic, game writer who writes about games. Uh, his name is Richard Cobbett. Um, he's actually a friend of mine. I consider him a friend now. Uh, he all, always complains about like the, the paper under the door puzzles. Um, but he said this is the one that he likes. So I feel very, very flattered and honored to have made this special list. Because <laughs> uh, he said it's like, A, it's a natural place to put a key, and it's not the key to the room itself. Um, so it actually works more than it would than it than it does for most. Just casually stealing yarn. I have to leave now. Very happy to catch the live stream. Live stream, catch the rest of that. Oh thank you. Ireland. Oh thank you. Thank you very much. Um Hello, Ultra Ultrace, Ultrace ninety nine. Um I'm lucky to have many people working with you. I have enough. I don't have many by any means, but um I have enough. Yeah, he'd be more justified in keeping Joey out of the building than Rosa, wouldn't he? Uh, okay, let's pull this. God, this puzzle took forever to do. I can't believe do. we just did this. When you're saving souls, <laughs> sometimes you gotta rob a few old ladies. I love that line. There's a note on. Oh yeah, this was my. <laughs> if you screw up the puzzle, you can go down and and tell them that the room needs cleaning and uh, the puzzle gets reset, uh, <laughs> which was a little bit of a cheat, but. Um, it worked. Someday you should do an in-between black hole game with Rosa's mother and Rosa as a kid. Do it, uh, so whatever you're yearning for with the black metal atmosphere again, Dave, go ahead, we'd all be euphoric. Yeah, I mentioned this in the last stream, how uh, going back seems a little cheap. Um, I was very surprised a few years ago that Stephen King wrote a new Dark Tower book. And I thought it was weird, but being a fan, I read it, and he did something interesting where... Um, it was more that he started off with the main characters. It was like an in-between book. He started off with the characters, and they go somewhere, and they're kind of trapped, like in a, a nice storm. They're like trapped in a little shelter, and one of the characters just tells a story that take, uh, tells a story of that world, and it's a totally different story, but it takes place in that world, and um, I thought that was a very interesting way of doing it, and that's something I could do i guess except it just seems cheap it seems very cheap at the moment like i need i would need to um have a little bit more distance from blackwell if i was ever going to do something like that uh i remember rosa had a twitter account uh oh yeah <laughs> that took that was, took a little bit of effort to keep up i never did keep up with it yes that was me tweeting as rosa by the by in case you thought it was real, it wasn't real. Mrs. Haynes. Oh, it's you. I think I had one for Joey as well, but... <laughs> uh, did you find... Not... Uh, prove him if you... Well, oh, it's... The next game we're releasing for iPad and iPhone. Um, we're very close to releasing uh, a beta for Shardlight. Uh, that's going to be the next one. <laughs> oh god, the Twitter account's still there, yeah. Has Brian Moriarty contacted you about the Loom sequel? We did talk, um, but the legal rights to Loom are so snarled up. I mean, you don't want to mess with Disney. You really don't. I mean, it's uh, the legal to get the IP rights for that. It would be so complicated and so expensive and so time consuming that, you know, like a little shop like mine, 
uh, doesn't have a prayer. So um, we did talk about possibly collaborating on something, like I would publish something he designs, uh, but nothing's come of it yet. Um, maybe it will, but, you know, we both have stuff going on. Oh, you again. Hi. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> Monko. <laughs> that's, a, that's great to know. What? Penelope mentioned a Peridot stone. Oh, that, that thing. thing. She wore it constantly, believed it contained some spiritual powers or something. I should throw it away. Can I have the Peridot stone? Why? Penelope would like it back. Absolutely not. That trinket just made the problem worse for her. The next time I think of it, I'm just going to throw it away. Are you telling me these games are fictional? I'm sorry, uh, uh, Mia Butterfly? Mia Butterfly? They're fictional. You can't date Rosa or Joey. They're fictional characters. Are you sure I can't take... I think Penelope would really appreciate it. Did you hear what I told you? I said no. Well, I better get going. Listen, I appreciate what you're doing, but please don't bother us again. We're embarrassed enough by this. I'll I... Now. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah. Now they're, they're leaving to go out on the town. <laughs> All right, now we go back. Doesn't look like anyone's home. All right. Interesting thing about this room. Uh, the the uh, easy thing to do Got would it. be to have uh, the family come home right after you grab the Peridot Stone. You pick, grab it, like, hey, we're home, surprise. Uh, that would have been the easy and cheap thing to do. I went one step beyond, where uh, if you leave the room, um, I have this little uh, little uh, thing set up to monitor uh, where you are in the room. And if you cross, why am I pointing at the screen like you can see it? If you cross the halfway point, uh, that's when the family comes home. So it kind of surprises you. It's probably not a surprise because you're probably expecting something to happen. but. Um, that's like, it's, it sort of catches you, a li it interrupts what you're doing as opposed to looking like a scripted event. It, it is a scripted event, but it, it manages, manages to hide it a little bit, which uh, I found quite fun to do. I've got my own Rosa, kind of, some years ago. We've been in a happy for six years. Happy six, oh, well, congratulations. Congratulations. These games aren't fiction. You're controlling humans in real time in an alternate dimension. The pixel art is just camera noise. All right, let's go with that. Yeah, I'm there sorry. it goes. Maybe we should wait until he's older. I know. It's just been so long since we've gone out. We don't I know. <laughs> Taking a older. baby to La Cirque. Yeah, that's going to work. <laughs> you let him run around. It's a well, crud. Okay. I was very happy with this puzzle. I'll go scope thing. It's one of these things where you could experiment with the with this um, thermostat um, before you need to, and then when the time comes, you know exactly what to do. Which uh... hmm, the numbers on this gizmo went down a bit. It now says 62 degrees. Hmm. You know, Chris, I think it's getting a little hot in here. What do you think? Should we open a door? Yeah, I think so too. Right, and then I can talk to the kid and, uh... So, kid, what's the skinny? <sighs> Try to turn off the lights before... I don't think you can Chris, turn off the lights. where are you going, you little monster? Soon there will be cupcakes and then extinguishers. Yeah, a little slapsticky, wasn't it? <laughs> what happens if you do to the light switch? What the hell do you think you're Oops, doing? Oops, nothing happened. Get that light off before a neighbor sees us. <laughs> oh, God. So wow, I screwed off. that up, didn't I? I'm surprised well. you can't see it. Wow. Uh, oh my God. I can't believe no one ever called me on this. Look at this. The open door is still the lit room version. Oops. Let's just turn the. Let's just leave and pretend I never made this mistake. There's some bugs that you're gonna f that I would I would fix, but like what? Ten years later, it's like if it's been in there this long, I'm not gonna bother at this point. 
Wow. So, guys, this will be our little secret. Just, uh, you know, me and uh, how many people are in this channel? All the 42 people in this channel. Hooray. Uh, okay, what do I do? Go back to Seagram. There was supposed to be, a, like, around an average of 50 people in the channel. Like, between, like, I have, like, 40 up to, like, 60. But today I got up to 70 at the beginning. That was cool. This never happened. We never talk about it. Nope. What happened? Nothing happened. Uh, oh yeah, if you try to move Joey. Hey Red, you filled this one. I'm gonna hold the fort over here. No, I love how when you highlight over it, it says nobody. Nothing happened. Absolutely nothing. Mrs. Haynes. Oh, it's you. Prove my sincerity. Oh, and whoops, I you... gotta give her the parrot over. Well, right. oh, it... It's been a pleasure. I remember reading in college about Parado stones, how they promote, like, they lessen anxiety or, or do something. Like, I don't know. I, I, I just got used your Parado stone back. Yes, that's mine, all right. Or, yes. Imagine that. I thought you were just humoring me. Like, if it, this was before launch, I would, like, make a point of fixing that bug, and but that would, that would mean, like, retesting it and replaying the whole thing. And if it's been in there this long... <laughs> I just, you know, there just comes a point where you just gotta say, well, that's just, it's just there. It doesn't break the game. It doesn't break the game, uh, so I can live with it at this point. So, about Gavin? Oh, that's right. You wanted to see him. Well, I'm not sure you are ready. Crazy old broad for Penelope. Yep, you yep, on yep, the yep. Path. The one you seek is named Lisa Tenzin. Who is Lisa Tenzin? She's a healer. She is the one who introduced me to Gavin. I sent your friend Jeremy to her as well. To her I as see. well. So I think I uh, Jennifer Your Holmes plays in three characters well, in this oh, game. Um, oh. A nursing home with a view of the Statue of Liberty. That's pretty awesome. Excuse me. Gotta love how he comments on spooks being in denial. Well, Joey. <laughs> yeah. Lisa. I always liked the character of Lisa. A street psychic, huh? Keep on your toes. I think I can handle a psychic. I am one after all. Just be careful is all I'm saying. I love the way her tinting changes in front of the sign. I was very... I remember coding this on a train. I was on a train going to PAX East and uh, I coded this on a train and thinking I was very proud of myself for, for coding it on a train. So yeah, you can look at this and think They've coded that on a train. Yes? Hi, is this Lisa Tenzin? That's me. Penelope Haynes gave me your address. I was hoping I could talk to you. Any sent you. Of course. Come on in. I love the processing on that. That's pretty cool. Oh my god, that that her dark sprite is the Please. Sit. Is the old um, cartoony version. Oops. Oh well, no one can tell because it's dark. So, what can I do to help? Oh, the woman playing Lisa. Her name is Rachel Radzuski or something Polish sounding. I found her on Twitter. <laughs> I, did, I, I did a cattle call on Twiddle, Twitter, Twiddle, Twitter for um, for uh, auditions uh, for this role because I needed someone very specific. I needed someone with a lower register and. Um, I, I didn't know anyone who could do it, uh, so I I did my own like little audition. Dave's on a train. Yep, can't be productive on trains. Well, uh, is coding on a train different than coding elsewhere? It's a lot faster. A lot faster. Is there a moment? Uh, twiddle. <laughs> Sorry. I'm Rose Angela Blackwell. A pleasure. I'm Lisa Tenzin. You said not Penny the was same there. woman who plays yes, Ginger. I, to talk to you. I don't know what you mean by Ginger. I honestly, I don't know who that is above the skull. Um, it was done by the artist. Uh, I don't know. Honestly, I, I never even thought about it. Um, it does look weird because the the, cha the difference in art style is very obvious. What exactly do you do here? I work with life energy mostly. Positive energy keeps your spirit This is taken alive verbatim from that psychic that I went to see. Um, I mentioned this in the commentary, but the, the funny thing about that How story is that um, 
That's something I can offer. Uh, I can tell that you're. The funny thing about that story is that I, when I went to see the psychic things. and she definitely like scammed me. She kept like offering me all these things for hundreds of dollars, and I'm like feeling very proud of myself that I'm getting her on camera. But like, I had this little button cam, you know, that was on my on my shirt, and I was aimed like slightly that way. Like I wasn't aimed my 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 chest or whatever wasn't aimed right at her. So I got the wall the whole time. So I screwed it all up. Um, I got her audio, but like you couldn't see anything, so you know, uh, James Bond. I'm not, you know, like the. <laughs> I'm not going to be uh, a secret agent case, anytime soon. But the, the the experience always stuck with me, and I always I kind of filed it away. This was like in 2007 when this happened, and I, I wrote this game in 2011. So I kind of filed it away, and then you know, four or five years later, I I use that experience to to make this character and this whole story. So. Um, uh, Sonata, uh, was Emerald City Confidential successful? I mean, no, it really wasn't. I mean, it didn't, uh, it was a work for hire ga gig, so, um, it, it made no difference to me. Uh, it was, it was, I could talk about that one. Uh, that's a whole other story. Um, <laughs> Secret Agent Dave, very funny. Um, My aunt died a few years ago. And you were close? I can tell. It's like what she does here she is exactly what the street psychic do, does, like pulls information out of you one. very Being easily. Death, um, death makes you, confront your own you know, so she says my aunt died, and she's like, well, you're obviously close. Well, obviously you were close because you wouldn't have brought her up, you know? You so it's like she pulls out the information out and like, extrapolates in a very logical way, um, which is what the street psychics tend to do. So how can you help me get better? <laughs> had that secret agent strong. audition gone differently, I could have had that yacht. I yeah, I could have. Ah, my life would have been so different. If I asked you to do this for me, what then? It takes a great deal of spiritual energy to me. I need to. So. I huh. And you doubted her sincerity. Yeah, the verbatim. I am verbatim. Going to have to verbatim this. this is what happened of to course. me. Uh, yeah. Did a Jeremy Sams come to see you? I wouldn't tell you one way or the other. Like any healer, I believe in, in confidentiality. confidentiality. Could you tell Penelope said you introduced her to him. Those sessions were supposed to be private. Even still, I would like to meet him. The spiritual process must not be rushed. Penny was ready, but thanks. It is not a judgment. <laughs> it is what you are. Let's do a buy Davy Yacht Kickstarter. I won't say no. Jeremy is dead. I'm sorry to hear that. A death often brings us in contact with our own mortality. No, it's not that. There's no confidentiality if he's dead, right? There are other worlds than these, Miss Blackwell. Yeah, we know. Thanks for listening, Lisa. I'll get back to you about fixing my problem. Of course. Have a good night. This lady is in a pick is used for prank calls. What? What did I tell huh? you? I, I, a blocked aura. I, I'm I sorry. I mean, aura? you're asking me a lot of questions, oh, and I, I have no idea where they're coming she. from. Because um, maybe she's a real you know, I know, I know so what, you're sincere, she, but I, I honestly don't know what you're talking about. Um, so I'm sorry. You know, I, I'm really sorry. Were many of the other scenes in the series based on your experiences? Uh, yeah, I, I definitely say so. Well, they're always based in something. Um, they're, they're always based on something. Uh... They can't not be. They come, everything comes from somewhere. Um, I mean, a lot of uh, Tiffany Graham's story in this is kind of like my own struggles in college about like, I should be out partying, you know? Like, uh, and when I went out, I was always not very happy. And so it's like, um, it, you know, that kind of thing. It's just a lot of it's my own, my own experience in my own life, especially my own uh, experiences living and working in a city like New York. Um, Right, I'm going in as Joey. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm calling Jeremy, right? Yeah. I don't think people were really clamoring for a Jim Berto cameo. Hi, you've reached... God, that's disgusting. Only one way to find out. You gonna help or what? Being dead means I don't have to pick through garbage. It's one of the perks. Right. A little plosive on perks. Found it. Jeremy you know, it's funny you say this puzzle took you a long time. Because <laughs> it seems, it's funny how like, um, 
it's like the it's the obvious thing to do right you know you're looking for a cell phone what do you do you call it um but a lot of people got stuck here um and i, I always found that very interesting because it's like the most obvious thing to do in real life but a lot of people got stuck i, I always found that fascinating the character stories being based on your own experiences makes them feel feel more real. Yeah, well, that's that's no accident. I mean, I always feel if something doesn't come from somewhere, uh, if I don't have a connection to what's happening in the game or what's happening on the screen, if it doesn't come from somewhere, like if I don't have a connection to it, you're certainly not. So that's very, very important to me that I feel that it comes from somewhere. Ooh, I think that Lisa image is the original cartoon portrait. I'm not sure. Oops. Oh, well. I always look at all the trash cans. <laughs> well, it's important. Uh, where am I going now? Um, oh, right. I was supposed to talk to Lisa. I forgot. Yeah, you're programmed to look for the most obscure solutions. I know. People tell me the same thing. I, yes. I never Hi, like obscure again. stuff. Oh, I never like obscure solutions. Um, I never. I just hate them Please in other games. Sit. I would never do it in one of mine. Oh, you're very welcome. Uh, I'm, I'm happy to answer anything. That's, that's why I'm doing this. That's why I'm doing Lisa, this. Lisa, I found Jeremy's phone. It was outside, in the trash. It's a public street. So he was here. He might have been outside. <laughs> Lisa's first I mistake, disposing say. of incriminating evidence in the trash. I know you spoke to Jeremy, Lisa. Why are you lying to me? Lying? What makes you think that? I love this moment that's coming up. Jeremy told me. Didn't you tell me he was dead? Whatever he told you, it's not true. I never spoke to anyone named Jeremy. I think this interview is at an end. It's very clear that I will be unable to help you. Your mind is closed off. You aren't seeking help. You only want to destroy. What? No, I, I... Your very presence is damaging the aura of peace I spent years trying to create. I insist that you leave. And I also insist you give up this line of inquiry. Give up? That's not an option. Not for me. Nevertheless... This music might be a little heavy-handed. My friend came to see you, and then he was killed. You can either help me, or you can get in my way. But one way or another, I'm gonna find out what happened. I'll be in touch. Smooth exit. Whatever. Let's just get out of here. I do love that moment. I, I, the moment when she, the moments when she stands up for herself. I feel always had more impact because she didn't do it too often. Uh, I like how Yahtzee Crush. I put it. Think of a problem and how a sensible person would solve it. Then seal your hand of vat of chlorine and then write down the solution that makes the most sense at the time. <laughs> I mean, like I, I don't know. Like I, I, this is a little self-righteous and elitist to say, but it's like I um. I feel like I've earned it. I, I, I find that I spend a lot of my time when I design, especially now, uh, trying to not do the things that I always hate in other adventure games um, because I hate them and they suck. So I try not to do those things while a lot of others just seem to relish in them. And uh, that's, I think, more people should do what I do. So let's go there. Let's, let's all do what I do. Um, right, now we talk to Jeremy. Come on in. Oh, hi, Rosa. Make yourself at home. I love that echoey effect. I had that done. I outsourced that. I sent the files to a friend, an audio friend of mine. I'm like, please make them echo nicely. She's interesting. Interesting is the word. I could only understand half of that crap she spouted. Yeah, she's a bit out there. She thinks... I don't know. I met... Lisa? That's right, Lisa. I almost forgot all about her. I only just met her. I met her through Penelope, like you. It's funny, I'm so used to the high res of Unavowed now that I look at these portraits and all I can see are pixels. That's why we need to break it's like, you look so low res. I don't, no. Come on, Rosa, you I see them on every street know. corner. These phony psychics, these rip-off artists. They say they can see auras or even talk to the dead. Imagine that. <laughs> but it's all a lie. Everyone knows that. Or do we? Why do people keep going to these places? There's something beyond it. Jeremy? Yes? Oh wait, well, I gotta give him... I gotta give him his phone. Jeremy, I've got something to show you. But before I do, could I see your phone? What, this? Yes, 
Now take a look here. I don't get it. You've got the same phone as me? No, Jeremy, it's your phone. I could use Audacity as well, for sure, but, um, mine right here. uh, it, uh, I don't know. It's just not, uh, a professional is. using better tools can achieve much better results than I can with Audacity. I I'm a bit afraid of the right, higher res and unavowed. Well, you know, it's the same artist. No. Uh, you say no, you're afraid of the higher res and unavowed. I'm always trying Jeremy. to repeat the question, because no. I know on YouTube you can't, they can't see the chat. Um... Confuse, confuse me. me. Um, me it's the same artist who did Epiphany forget and Shardlight and Techno Babylon. Uh, so it's more like an extension of his existing style. Um, I'm going. So it's basically, it's like uh, people often, I often wonder when, when Out of Out comes out, will people even notice the high resolution? Because, like, when I think of Techno Babylon or Shardlight, What's in my head? I don't see the pixels in my head. I see a, a much smoother picture, um, and that's what unavowed looks like. Unavowed looks like what you envision his art to be in your head, um, rather than what it actually is. So it, it's still, you know, it's, it feels and looks the same. Um, but now I play a lower res game, and I really, really notice it. Uh, Highline. Ben, yes, I agree. Ben, yes. There's a reason why I hired this guy. Jeremy? I was here. This is me. I love I this song. Love right this song. There. But then I heard a pop. And then... Then I was calling you with a phone that couldn't exist. Somehow, I just knew you were the one who could help me. Like I said, it's what we do. It's what could we do kind of... Kind of became our catchphrase in the next game. Gavin. Kind of got a, got developed a catchphrase a little too late. <laughs> People change around him. They destroy their lives, sometimes even die. Die like I died. Jeremy, I'm so sorry. No, no, it's okay. I don't know why, but I feel good. Relieved, even. You'll find him, won't you? You can take over? We'll find him, Jeremy. This won't happen to anybody else. Thank you. I'm ready. The sprite art is by Ben, but nothing else. There's nothing more to say. I'll talk to him later. This is awkward enough as it is. We'll chat later. There's nothing more to say. All right, I gotta use the tie. <laughs> Thank you, Makamu. It's what we do is Rose's most quintessential line. I agree. Um, and maybe it's appropriate that it didn't become like a, a catchphrase until the end because it's it's only it's true by epiphany that is who she is jeremy it's time Bl <laughs> da, 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 da. this is incredible all this time i never imagined this is your life now this is my life now. Not quite the village I, is it? Beats writing book reviews. Um, so I guess I should just... Yeah, the light. I love this conversation because it's go so through. understated. Just go. They don't have like their big character moment that you would with a ghost that's a stranger. Like, they don't know what to say to each other, so they don't say anything. And I love it. I just love it. I, it's one of my favorite... Well... Say goodbye gone. to a ghost scenes. You okay? Sure. Nothing an entire bottle of wine won't fix. Well, you know what they say. I thought about it, Laura. Knows best. To say, have them like express their feelings, but what was the point? You know, and I think they both knew it. Which is, which is, you know, I, I always, nice I often work. spend more time yes. thinking about we what to cut or, or what Jeremy not to write not than really <laughs> than what to actually Look, write. Sleep. You might feel different tomorrow. Ooh, I spelled yeah, the word right. different wrong. It's Oops. been a long night. Joey. Yeah. What would happen the if the spirits got out of your head? You'd die? Who is he? They're not in her head. They go through her head. Get some sleep, Red. Mm. Oh, God, this. <laughs> Stars stolen from puzzle pods. Was revealed to be Jeremy what's, what's Sams, this? a reporter at the City Post newspaper. No suspect is in custody yet. Thank you, Dreamcatcher Wolf. I thought so too. Their they're, are they're, and there's some scenes that I really love. And I, I don't often say this, I don't often praise my own work a lot, but I really love that scene. I love it. 
Ooh, cursor went from blue to orange. All right, let's go talk to Lisa. All right, in about a couple of minutes, I'm going to have to stop. Uh, I, I knew I wouldn't be able to um, uh, get through this entire game in two hours. This is a long one, about maybe about the halfway point at the moment. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm going to continue it tomorrow, though, for sure. It is sad. That was the point. And if you did feel sad, I, I'm, I, I reached you. I connected. I'm very. Hi. Hello. Well, that was. And that's rude. always my goal. Well, that was rude. <laughs> All right. All right, Joey. Do your thing. It would be interesting if someone like that had their mom as a spirit. Then Joey and Rosa would be villains. It's an interesting thing. I didn't decide to add. Um, I remember the whole of Lisa's house came really late in development. Um, I was having really trouble. I was having a lot of trouble connecting the two parts of the game, where uh, you save Jeremy and then you get the remainder of the cases. Like I, I was having really a lot of trouble connecting the two, um, and then uh, I finally came up with all this, and it worked really well. It's been awesome watching you play, Dave. Thank you. Thank you. I'm off now, so I hope to speak to you again soon. Well, bye. Thank you. My streaming times are quite European friendly. <laughs> Danny? I, I, um, it's mostly they're friendly for me because it's the last two hours of my working day and then, you know, my daughter comes home. So, oh, that creepy bird ended up on Rose's shelf <laughs> in Blackwell Epiphany. Oh, I can't just switch to Rosa, huh? Okay. She knows him. That phony knows him. Knows who? Bye-bye. Danny Marconi, that's who. Who is Danny Marconi? <sighs> Remember that old guy in the nursing home? She's mooning over a picture of him. I don't like where this is going. Not one bit. Okay, I think with that, that is a good place to stop. Oh, wow, this menu is weird. Very weird looking menu. Okay. Uh, Rosa, a kleptomaniac. How did she get all these things? Yes. Yes, she is. She's an adventure game character. Of course she's a kleptomaniac. Actually, I don't know. <laughs> I honestly don't know. I didn't think about it. Um, I was trying to think of something from Blackwell Epiphany that she could put on the shelf, and it's the first thing I thought of. Uh, I figured she, she took it on the way out of the, uh, of the house at the end of the game. She, she leaves the house, and if no one else is there or they're dead, so she just took it on the way out just because. Um, okay, I'm calling it end of stream save. And uh, I think that's, uh, that's it for today, guys. So, Yarg. Um, I don't know why I saved it that with that name. That must have been... I must have just as a test game or something. Um, okay, so yeah. Uh, thank you all for coming again. Sorry to cut this so short, but um, I'll probably do another one tomorrow uh, to finish off the game. Um, if not tomorrow, then next week for sure. I, I know it's important to keep a regular schedule, but it's just hard. It's hard because sometimes I, I have a lot of work to do or other things are going on. So um, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to try to have another one tomorrow at the same time. Uh, check my Twitter feed. You know, it's, it's down there at the bottom. Right? Uh, wait, nope, that way. That way. Um, uh, so, yeah, check that Twitter feed tomorrow um, and so on and so forth. Okay, thanks again. I'm going to hit the stop button now. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you again.